Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to All Under the Squirrel Tree. I'm back a whole day later with another little Timu haul. So, um, yeah, it's not very big. And, oops, hang on one sec. Just give me one sec because I'm forgetful. One sec. I mean that literally. Well, not literally, but literally enough. Okay, so let's start with this because this is what I forgot. Um, I ordered these bras, braziers, over shoulder boulder holders, you know, you know. Um, and I could tell just by looking at them that they were way too small. And I, you know, this is one of those, I was paying attention, it's a, a double XL and in some things, you know, I look and the double XL, I've gotten them from Timu and they fit me fine. So I figured with these, especially since they were, you know, like stretchy, they would work. But as soon as I saw them, I saw uh, there was like, there's no way. So it's okay. I have someone to share them. Uh, they will go with my friend Catherine. There's four, they're beautiful colors. These were only $13.03 for the four of them. Um. There's this lovely, like, off-white, and then a more beige, peachy beige color. And this this was actually the one that, you know, just made me want to buy it. This beautiful um, purpley one. And then uh, this pinky one. But yeah, they are really nice, really soft. They look like they'd be very, very comfortable. Uh, I've seen them advertised all over the place, and there's like no no wonder wires, but very supportive. So check the measurements, and if they fit you accordingly, uh, I would recommend them. They're, you know, they're cotton. They're actually I'm not I shouldn't say that I'm not a hundred percent sure that they are fully cotton, but they feel like it, and they're nice and they're pretty. So there you go. 1303 for four bras cannot beat that. Well, you could if they fit. That would be better. But then I got, oh, and I meant to take these out. I love Lily of the Valley. I just absolutely love it. So I saw this and thought I would get it. And ah, yeah, they're plastic. Oh, I can move that. Oh, I have a story to tell about this. Um, they are plastic. I've never known Lily of the Valley to be quite that noisy. But they're pretty. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stems. Like ten separate little these thingies. Uh, for $5.24. And much like most of the Timu things... When you're looking up close, they look fake. You know, they look fake. They smell a little bit, but not as bad as some of the ivy and those things that can get really, really unpleasant. Like, I'm still airing one, one thing out in the window. Um, just can't seem to get rid of the smell, and if it doesn't clear out after, I'm going to give it a good spray and then another sit out. I'm just going to toss it because I really don't like the smell of it. Might be in my imagination at this point, but... Anyway, these are beautiful, um, you know, from, well, I can't show you much further away than that, but they are fairly realistic looking, and they're definitely perfect for, you know, I just want them to look at and smile and be happy. And I have decided to <laughs> no longer try and get miniature things off uh, from Timu because they're just too miniature. I'm going to have to check, I guess these are like one... 12 scale and I think what I'm looking for is more like 1 6 scale if they, if they even make that but this is two little pots of yogurt and a little bottle of ketchup and a little bottle of something else and a carton of milk and then you have to attach your own labels which is fine um, but uh, yeah I don't know what I'm going to do with these because they are too small for what I wanted to use them for. I might just, uh, 
send them up with some with the rest of the stuff that I'm sending to share with my friends because you never know who might be in have dollhouses. I think 112 is like the proper Barbie scale. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyway, this was 337 for the little mini foods. So not too bad, but especially, I mean, a very good price if you actually were going to uh, use them. <laughs> but then I got this ribbon. It was $1.78 for 78 inches, which I think is just over, uh, I don't know, six feet. I, know, I saw the open side. Come on. All right, there you are. I haven't even... I haven't taken it out and looked at it yet. I, for some reason, I thought it was wired. But it's not. But it's just beautiful. The iridescent um, little sheen to it. Really, really pretty. And I'm using it for uh, bookmarks. I've really gotten on the bookmark kick. Um... Partly because they are just very easy to make, very easy to be, uh, like, super, um, I don't know, the, the, you, can, you can do anything. You can crochet them, you can paper mache them, you can make a bookmark out of just about anything. And I really, really like that ribbon. It's beautiful. And it was, like I said, $1.78 for about the six, six feet of it. Um, now, where's my garbage? Oh, all the way over here. Um, horrific prices at the grocery store. Oh my God, these actually I just, I was getting ready to put them away. Two small Roma potatoes. Potatoes. Oh my gosh. Tomatoes. Do you believe it was $8 for these? $8 for two little tomatoes. I don't understand. But, yeah, anyway, that's off the beaten path. But there we go. Um, now we're getting into... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my window's going to be beautiful. I actually should have paid attention and got these things all prepared. I even took the scissors out of the room because... I found a shirt that one of my old t-shirts that I really liked, except that the um, the straps had this little thing wrapped around them, and I didn't like it, so I cut them off. So I took the scissors out to the other room. They do have the plastic, like protective thing on it. But remember, I told you when my kid was here, they confiscated my little raccoon sun catcher, and I loved that little sun catcher, so I got myself another one. This little dude was four twenty one, and just I mean, look at the face. I gotta stand up so I can make sure you have a, a good look at this face. I mean, that's just it's actually very sweet and realistic. I really love that. They all come with the hardware, you know, to hang them and such. And then I got this one um, that I have two wonderful nieces and. Uh, at the moment, my niece, Monet, uh, likes bees. I just should say, at the moment, she likes bees. She always likes bees. It's just this is quite suiting for her at the moment. But it's really, really cute. And it was uh, uh, two thirty nine. And again, it's got the plastic on it. But very, very cute. And they look stunning up in the window. I've had so many people, both from inside and outside, comment on how nice they looked. And then now, one of my favorite flower, flowers, one of my favorite flowers, uh, flowers for both to look at and the smell are lilacs. So, I got this. And this one was $2.39. And again, it's, you know, the plastic on the back to protect it. Either while cutting or in shipping, I'm not sure. Something's making me think it's for, like, when they cut it out. But it doesn't matter. It's it's there. Um, but you to peel it off and you get a nice 
beautiful glow through. So that one is just so pretty and $239. And then this one was also $239. And this is another more Lily of the Valley. So but this one, I mean, look, this one's very translucent. The other ones are a little more solid. Uh, but this one is very, very transparent. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to hang this one up. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. And it was to also $239. No, sorry, I'm wrong. This was $315. Still a very, very good price. $315. The Sun Catchers uh, from Timu, I know I've said this like a thousand times, but it continues to be true. Um, really good prices. They are all acrylic. None of them are glass. I wouldn't have them if they were glass. I don't like glass. Um, take these out so I can hang them up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they, um, whoop, that one came out easy. And that one's already out. Uh, they're really, really, really nice. Um, they drop. You don't have to worry about them breaking. You just hang them up again. I got the little suction cups from Timu as well. And I, I did get the ones that have the little crystal knob on them rather than a, an actual metal hook. And I've got to order some more because they are much prettier up in the window. Much less uh, utilitarian looking. Anyway, that was this haul. Um, short and sweet. Very, very bright and sunny. And now this. I can tell you... That this felt actually washes up quite well. And I believe I used fabric glue on these. But it held up very well. Because I bought, uh, when I did my groceries, I bought some strawberries. And I put them on the, I put them on the counter here. My, my desk, ready to put away. And then, of course, forgot about them. So I got up this morning and went to uh, take them down to my, my friend. We, we get a big thing of fruit and we'll split it because it's a little cheaper. And it's, you know, neither of us need a big carton of berries. Um, but I had put it down on top of this and they had squished at the bottom a little bit. And this whole, well, whole half, <laughs> half of the thing was bright red. I should have taken a before and after from the, the berry juice and it has come right out. I just rinsed it under some cold water and then some, when it was clear, some warm water, let it dry. Um, I actually had it on, set it on a, a can up that I had up on the counter so that it was like off, just not flat on the surface, but off. And yeah, it came up. Oh, there's one little spot I missed there. It's okay. Uh, but it came out completely fine. So, I am very glad to say that for things like the, um, the, uh, what do you call them? You know, these things. These things. Mug cozies. Uh, stuff like that. If, if you're very careful, you can rinse the stains out of them. The felt holds up well. So, that is truly that. After my little rant about the tomatoes. Uh, actually, you wouldn't believe it. I bought the, the used to, I got these tomatoes. I had a, a um, Timu, not a Timu. Timu does not do groceries. I had an Instacart delivery. Because um, I wasn't able to get out. And uh, when the, the young person doing the groceries for me put in the first tomatoes, it was two beefsteak tomatoes. And I looked at the, you know, the roster of the list of everything, and it was almost $12. And I said, hang on, I know, you know, I messaged them and said, I only want two tomatoes. And they said, yeah, that's, that's two tomatoes. And two tomatoes is like almost $12? And they were like, yep. And I said, okay, well, can you go put them back, please, and pick me up two much smaller, much less expensive tomatoes? And these were the smallest and cheapest that they had, and they were almost eight bucks. I'm or seven bucks, seven or eight. 
either way, whether seven or eight dollars, you five dollars for two little no, 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 I could have. I can't wait till the season moves on and all my friends who grow tomatoes start bringing me tomatoes again. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. I will see you um, soon. I'm not sure when, but uh, yeah. Until then, have a wonderful, wonderful. I'll see you under the tree. Bye.